Yeah, I mean, I think I think your story is interesting. It's unique. Um, I haven't really come across, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna say any because I'm sure I'm missing somebody that, um, <laughs> you know, that that has a, a corporate job and is pursuing music. Uh, but how do you balance it all? Like, how do you pers- And you're married, so you know, um, that's a yeah. that's a strong commitment as well. How do you balance all of these different things? Yeah. Uh, shoot. Uh, you got to want it. <laughs> That's first and foremost. Um, because when you want it, it's not even a question of like, how can I? It's like, what do I need to do to remove the things that's in my way to do this very thing that I want to do? So, you know, just even that mindset, shit, like, yo, I could, there's so many other things I could do with my time. I could sleep. <laughs> I, could, I could, you know what I mean? Like, binge watch the next, you name it, whatever. Um, But like, I'd rather just do other things with my time. And so just being really diligent with the time that I got. Management's key. Um, Setting boundaries is very key. Not all the things all the time. Like, I don't have to prove to anybody that like, I like to have fun. I'm gonna have fun whenever I need to have fun. I don't have to like feel compelled to do things outside of the thing that it is that I already set up to do. So, you know, just having that mindset, honestly, um, is really how I do it. The, the, that's the, that's the science of it. The art of it. I mean, it comes with the day. It comes with the flavor of the day, you know, cause sometimes like, especially when I was a consultant, man, when I started doing music as call me ace, cause you know, I'm ace Patterson in real life, right? But like call me ace, you know, that I was a consultant. I was working 80 hour weeks, yo, like easily. And I still, Mm -hmm. you know, booked my own shows, dropped albums and shot music videos and all that stuff. Right. And so it really, if anything, I'm like, yo, it's, I was equipped now, you know what I mean? Like now it's like, okay, it don't matter what the obstacle is. Like you, you, it's the same skills. It's the same principles that you just apply over and over again. Right. So it really just starts up here. Um, and it's the same thing. You know, I, I see you on IG, you work out, you find the time to work out and you a busy man. Like you're literally putting together a whole album with different individuals with different personalities and mindsets and you trying to make this project happen. And I know a thing or two about operations and logistics. So I know that's not, it's hard enough doing it with one person, you do it with multiple, right? And like, yeah. and, so, and so it's like, you're doing all that, but you're still finding the time that you need to do the things that you want to do. It's as simple as yeah. that, yeah. Yeah, no, nah, the, 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 you know, one of the one of the things that I hope the MEC does is it strips people from their excuses. Right. You can't you can't lie to yourself. Like we I think we <laughs> highlight time and time again, people that just go after it and they make the time necessary to get what they have to get done. Like and there's just no excuses, um, you know, and everybody's in a different situation. And I'm sensitive to that. You know, some people are, are in, you know, um uh, less than perfect situations i mean i think mo- a lot of people have have their issues but you know with with music you know if you want it you got to get it done regardless you know what i'm saying so for, do you do you think that like having a corporate job does it does it do you worry about your image as an artist like both at your job or like from a fan perspective, like do, like do you feel like you're not you because you have a corporate job, or are you just like, hey, like your job accepts the music. I mean, not that you make wild ass music because you don't. Like you're you, like you, you stay true to who you are. But are you even thinking about that when you make music? Like, what's my job going to think about this? <laughs> I think you kind of answered the question for me because I'm I'm me, yo. I'm me. I, I ain't worried about what people think about me. I, I really can't. Um, I'm not. I'm not chasing other people's expectations of who I should be, and that's part of the reason why I'm able to do the things that I'm doing. I'm. I'm respectful of the environments that I'm in, the people that I'm around, the the responsibilities that I got. I do. I do my job in every way, shape, and form. You know what I mean? Like I do the job when it comes to to me, to my household, to the things that was given to me. And so you hear that same work ethic in my music. And that's that's what I do on the table too. I'm not running around my job being like, yo, you gotta listen to me. <laughs> I feel like just, I'm not, I was never the, I was never that, my hustle is not the like 
stand in front of you and beg you to listen to me kind of hustle. Yeah. I was shout out to those that that have that kind of wherewithal. I don't got that kind of wherewithal. You know, for me, I, I let I let my work speak for itself. I'm a I'm a giver before I start asking people for stuff. And you know, at the end of the day, like either you like me or you don't. 